What's up guys, MTG23 here, back with my review of the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. So if you don't know about the M50Xs, then you haven't been on the YouTube tech community that long, because pretty much every tech YouTuber I've seen, including me, uses them or used them. So I picked them up for my own review. So the M50X's build is a soft touch plastic and a full leather material. They do have some metal where the ear cups come down, but that's it. But despite this build, they seem pretty darn sturdy. But there was one thing about the build that definitely concerned me, and that was if you pull the ear cups away from each other, it looks like it could break, and I've done it a few times, and it hasn't, so we'll see how they hold up in the long run. But the upside to them being able to stretch so far is that they can fit around bigger heads. The M50Xs have a removable cable that can be swapped out for different styles. The three that come with it are a 3 meter straight cable, a 3 meter coiled cable, and a 1.2 meter straight cable. Both of the 3 meter cables have a screw on quarter inch adapter for a more professional audio setup. This cable twists and locks into place, so if you want a new cable, or if you lose the old one, you have to buy one specifically work with the ATH and 50Xs. So as far as comfort goes, the ear cups are soft and oval shaped and they fit well around your ear. I could wear them for hours and I do when I'm video editing and they're not uncomfortable after a few hours. Also above each of the ear cups are indicators for which side is left and right. I find this is actually pretty useful because sometimes they get them switched up. Also the ear cups swivel 90 degrees that you can push them up to fit into a smaller pr profile. Perfect for fitting them in the included traveling faux leather bag. I personally don't like it because it doesn't offer that much protection but I do use it to put all my cables in. Instead, I use this hard show case, which I will have linked down below, and I definitely recommend picking one up because it's pretty great protection for any headphones. Anyway, onto the important thing for any headphones, the sound quality. So these are monitoring headphones, they have a pretty flat sound. Though there are some bass, there's not a lot, so you can expect to hear accurate sounds out of these headphones. Even though they are for specifically for monitoring audio, it's also pretty great for listening to music and movies with them. You can pretty much listen to any music you want with these, and it will sound great, even if it is country. Sorry, I really don't like country. But don't push volume up too high with these because A, they get pretty darn loud, and B, they do start to distort at higher volumes. So the question with every review I make is what I personally recommend them, and I say a definite yes to that. Again, they sound fantastic, they're built pretty well, they're comfortable, and they come at a pretty compelling price of $130 on Amazon. I mean, if you compare them to something like, I don't know, the Beat Solo 2s, which come in at $199 and don't sound half as good as the ATH M50Xs, then that is a pretty good value. So as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.